Hello all you beautiful people, Mr. 47 here, and welcome to No Man's Sky by Hello Games. So, if you guys haven't lived under a rock, <laughs> uh, you probably know that No Man's Sky had an incredibly, incredibly rocky start. Um, a lot of things that were said were not put into the game. <laughs> a lot of things that were promised didn't happen. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, <clears throat> uh, you know, things like that, you know, it was very similar, except for the difference between Cyberpunk 2077 and No Man's Sky is that Hello Games came through and made it into a masterpiece of a game and adding a lot of things. So I still have faith that uh, CD Projekt Red is going to do the same with no, with uh, Cyberpunk, but we'll see. Well, that's, the jury's still out on that one. Um, but anyway... Let's get right into it. I feel like going to space. I feel like seeing what they have done, because apparently there's a new Prisms update out just now. So I want to see what's it all about. Um, explore and survive in a boundless journey. Survival challenge more hazardous small inventory. Uh, no, we're going to play in normal mode. It's exciting. Like I did a couple videos in the past on this when the next update came out um and uh it was it was come a long way then i'm just excited to see what's coming now <laughs> what changes that so that was a while ago uh, there's something really super um calming about no man's guy i don't know what it is it's, it's partially obviously the music open space things like that it reminds me, it's like a space Minecraft, you know what I mean? They, like, but I find, I find No Man's Sky actually more entertaining than, uh, than Minecraft. That's just my personal opinion, nothing wrong with Minecraft. So. If it's per usual, we're probably gonna end up on a random planet as a starting planet, and I'm just hoping it's not a cold planet. Because <laughs> those are a pain. Luckily, it's not a snow planet. Looking good so far. What a beautiful game, though. Especially once you get into the space exploration. Oh my god. And we are going to get to that tonight. Absolutely. I think I remember enough to get back to, get back to that really quick. Cool, we got a mine laser. We are ready to go. And so as you can see, by discovered by JSTAR G, there's tons of these plants that are discovered by other players. Very cool. Okay, but we're stuck in a toxic land. So there's that. Okay, so we need some ferrite dust. We gotta get some uh, oh, this is sodium. We do need that though for our radiation. Boop, boop, do, 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 do. If I could just remember how to do it, this. So it was. There we go. Sodium is your friend, man, when it comes to toxic planets. This replenishes your suit and uh, is incredibly helpful to keep going. Luckily, we found a whole bunch of it, a whole buttload. Pretty cool. Now we need some ferrite dust. Wow, there's a lot of, lot of things out here right now. <laughs> I keep going to use my scanner. <laughs> I don't have it. <laughs> All right, so let's get some ferrite dust. So we record our scan tool. I love it. I love it so much. I love space. 
I love space so much. Like, space is amazing. It is beautiful. It is scary and deadly all at the same time. You know what I mean? Something so cool about that. Okay, uh, repair it. There we go. Uh... Oh, we don't have quite enough yet. Almost there, though. It's taking me a little bit to kind of remember the groove of things. Because I played a good portion of this. I wouldn't say I made it really far. I'd say I explored a lot of stuff. You know, I mean, I went to a lot of different planets. And it still wasn't even enough. Ooh, carbon. Carbon is good for your mining beam. That's what you need to replenish that. And so that's really important. I know some of you guys probably really know, like, what to do and what this game's about and all this kind of stuff. So it probably sounds redundant that I'm explaining it, but there are a lot of people out there that haven't played it just because of simply the, um, the reviews it got. You know what I mean? The, it wasn't, it wasn't too welcomed when it first came out, which is awful because it really made people pass up on something that was really awesome. This wasn't quite finished yet. Okay. Cool. Now we got our scan tool. All right. Now we got to recharge our hazard protection real quick. Which we, which luckily we picked up a ton of sodium. Yeah. Look at us surviving. Cool. And see, as you can see now, our scan tool is working. And we can see stuff around us, as for example, the sodium. Hopefully, you <laughs> I don't know why I just openly walk close to that, being like, this is probably fine. They're not going to hurt me. I'm just on an alien planet. Okay, so cool. We got to go to the... to this objective over here. Ooh, dihydrogen. This is important for our ship. We will need this. We don't really need this right now, but it's good to have while I see it. To be able to make some of that, some of that uh, fuel and stuff later, because that's going to be 100% important to get off this rock. I'm so glad to be playing this again. I don't know what tonight it just kind of struck me. I was like, man, I've been playing No Man's Sky forever, and then like Steam, <laughs> not, not even a joke. I was like looking at my Steam store, and I was like, oh, Steam is, uh, Steam. Uh, no Man's Sky is on sale for half price right now. I was like, what? And I, I played on PS4 before. I haven't played on computer with updated graphics and all this great stuff. So, I'm glad I did. Cool, we got a whole buildings down there and everything. I want to get everything underway first before I go exploring too much. Ah. Uh, you know what? Let's screw it. We're right here. Uh, what is that? Is that other ships? What was my run button? Not that. Not that, it's that. Oh, there we go, okay. All right, let's see if we can go inside. I wanna see what this derelict little mining facility has. At least it looks like a mining facility. Okay, we got viscous fluids. Cool, I'll take it. Uh, yeah. Put in my high capacity inventory. And I got some nanites, nice. Don't know what that is, but I'm glad I have them. <laughs> what is that? I got a research specimen. That's cool. It feels so much more fleshed out and polished now. I love that. That's ah, that's so nice. This game deserves it. I I saw something beautiful in this game right in the beginning when it first came out. I did. And um, I wasn't one of those naysayers or haters about it either. I was like, it needs some work. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to lie about that. But the concept is awesome.
this hopefully feels a little bit more fleshed out this time which it kind of already does i mean there's already creatures all around and stuff when before when i used to start and everything like that i didn't really see much well we got a long ways to go we got some carbon oh right speaking of carbon uh there we go put our carbon in nice then we recharge our mining beam hopefully that ship's friendly i can hear it but i don't see it right now This is awesome. I'm, I'm really happy to be exploring the universe with you guys. This means a lot to me. I don't know. I like it's two, two of my favorite things. You guys and this. <laughs> you guys in space. So again, I'm getting these dihydrogen crystals for uh, fuel. It's going to save me some time later when it comes down to it. So, there we go. To uh, get off this rock. What's even cooler is like the the fact that you start off on a different planet every time. Like I I don't I honestly, to my knowledge, have never started off on the same planet twice. That's cool. <laughs> you know. My ship. Finally. Distress beacon. Let's see what this is. Deleted. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 16 emptied. Cause sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer. Analysis fresh iteration generated. Anomaly containment prepared. Broadcast. Broadcast received. Traver Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. Ooh. I love that there's like, it does. It feels more fleshed out. It feels more like alive. I mean, I know I saw other ships previously, but not that much. some rusted metal cool what else we got dihydrogen nice all right let's check out the let's check out our ship see what what awfulness we're in <laughs> nice thing about the ship it replenishes your uh your uh hazard you know, the thing. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. The, ha the hazard uh, stuff. <laughs> very, yeah, I'm, prof I'm a professional. I'm a professional. It's very scientific. You wouldn't understand. That's why I didn't, that's why I didn't want to say it. Um, I find myself alone in a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here. No sense of it before. But the ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I'm not dead yet, and the ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Let's read the log. Uh, unavailable. Substituting data. Exosuit connected. Suggestion pilot should perform maintenance. All right, let's repair this, uh, the ship systems. Pulse engine's critically jam damaged. We need a hermetic seal, which is, I believe, it's actually on a different part of this planet. We have to go trek to go find it. Uh, metal plating we can make easily. All right, I think, I think we're all good. What? GTA 5 Strim Hype? Is that the name of this planet? <laughs> what? I don't know if I just, if I saw it before, I know I mentioned it, but I don't think, I don't think I noticed it said GTA 5. <laughs> uh, well, 
Um, I'll keep my comments to myself. All right. Anyway. Cool. So now we need metal plating. Okay, which we do have plenty of ferrite dice, duck dice, ferrite dust to uh, make. So let's make it. Cool. So now we need pla uh, patch metal plating onto the pulse engine in the starship inventory. Can I get? To yeah, I can get to into there from here. Okay. Cool. All right. There's one part. Still not enough. I believe we go inside. It tells us where the hermetic seal is. Unable to synthesize required opponents. Pulse engine requires hermetic shield, uh, seal. Request assistance. There we go. That's what we wanted. Uh, seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Cool. Okay. Um. Let's go. I think this gives us a... Yeah, I think this gives us coordinates where we need to go find it. <clears throat> All right. Whoa! So cool. Dude, I would love to explore a space like this in like a safe in a safe environment. <laughs> All right, cool. So now we know where it is. That's not too far. Um, actually, while I'm here. Okay, so we got that for, uh, we need a train manipulator so we can mine that. Okay, look at that. Look at that. That is so awesome. And what I love about this game, dude, what I love about this game, okay? You can literally fly to any of those planets without loading times. What? You literally take off from ground, exit orbit, and go in, uh, or go into orbit rather, and then into space. Just like that. All right, I wanted to grab that um, that sodium, but I lost it. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's grab some sodium for the trip. Oh, here. Oh, a supercell. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, screw that. This is the one problem, though. We got a lot of bad space weather. It's space weather. All right. Yeah, and it's gonna pick up real quick. As you can see, the radiation on the outside is actually growing immensely. Woo. It's getting quite toxic out there. Still not as toxic as most of the women I've dated. <laughs> Funny, but true. <clears throat> How cool would this be, though? How cool would this be? You tell me. Seriously, leave a comment. I want to I wanna hear from you guys. How would you like to be out here in space exploring like this? I mean, I think it would be absolutely be, in a way, terrifying... You know what I mean? But in the coolest way. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm pretty sure your mind would be blown at all times. Like, oh, look, see the shooting stars? That's awesome. There's a couple. Oh, there's another one right there. The big blue one right there. Right there. Um, it would be so cool, yet so terrifying. You know what I mean? Because especially if you saw, start seeing creatures and things and beasts. Maybe even large, large beasts that you wish you never knew existed. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of things like that, you know, that would kind of suck. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, for lack of a better term. Um, but at the same time, it just uh, how awesome, how awesome it would all be, too. You know what I mean? At the same time, and like, if, there are, if you did find friendly life forms and things like that, how cool. 
you know, I'd be able to see all the planets and stuff like that. This is a long ass storm, man. We're just holding tight. Oh, you can see the rings from here too, over there in the planet. That's so awesome. I apologize now. I'm gonna probably say how much I love space, like probably 700 times, okay? Nice, okay. And as you can see, the radiation is going down. We should be able to get out of here in a minute. never going to go to zero because this is a toxic planet, but and everything cleared. Cool. All right. Now we got a restore point. Let's go. Um, oh, it's this way. <laughs> I like to lost my bearings there for a second. Um, okay. Now we'll get that hermetic seal. That's the next next thing here. Must run faster. Oh, that's not even that far. Whoa, nav navigation data. What are these? Yeah, let's take them all. I wonder what that's going to lead to next time, or like, like where we could go, or maybe it gives us coordinates. Yeah, it says coordinate data, drop pod coordinate data. Interesting. That's cool. I've never seen those before. That has to be new. Feeling like Boba Fett over here. Oh, God. <laughs> Fall and break my leg. <laughs> I love this, though. Like, it just feels... Ugh. Oh, look at the planets. It just feels like a living, breathing world. You know, everything's going around at all times. What is that? That's what I want to know. I can tell you right now, that doesn't look friendly. This is just a tree. But I know, but look, if you look at the outside, it looks like a pine cone, pineapple, uh, with egg sacs or something on the outside. I don't know what that is. See, I'd be smart in a survival situation and be like, stay away from that. Don't know what it is. Could be friendly. Don't care. All right. Um, well, at least it's stabilizing my, my radiation protection, but at the same time, there's nothing in there. Our hermetic, the hermetic seal's gotta be here somewhere. Whoop, I'm stuck on this chair real quick. That's my own fault. Um, there we go. Six out of seven logs corrupted. No one. Making this recording in case. Leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damage. Can't find ship. Spinning out supplies. I have the hermetic seal. I need to repair my ship. Whatever has led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. Cool. Guys, we're so close to taking off from this rock. All right, let's go. Take a drink every time I say we're getting so close to getting off this rock. <laughs> or getting off this rock in general. <laughs> I just realized I've said it quite a few times. Or if I say I love space, take a shot. New fun game with Mr. 47. <laughs> if there's any kids watching, I'm talking about chocolate milk. All right. I gotta get back to our ship. Radiation Gonna grab our sodium while we're here. The only thing, the only thing that I like notice that hasn't been fixed. And this is really a small gripe, honestly. But it's how awkward it is to go up steep hills. 
like it's just kind of uh, he has a hard time pulpy roots I'll take them oh grawberry no idea what that is but it's mine now that's like the most American thing I've ever said <laughs> I don't know what you are, but you're mine. Claim it. All right, let's, uh... I should have left a... Damn it. I should have left a beacon or something. Some sort of map thing at my ship. Now I'm a lot. I'm lost again. Oh, I gotta make nanotubes. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Forgot. Thanks, game. I forgot. All right. Yeah, we need our analysis visor. Yeah, we need to get some carbon nanotubes. So let's see if we can make some. Which we can. See, this is why it's always good to pick up some extra stuff. See, now I can see where my ship is. Very helpful. See? And I can tag it. Bam. It is now tagged. You can also scan stuff, too. Uh, right trigger. There we go. You can tell I'm a console gamer because, like, even though I'm playing on computer, like every single game that I play, usually on video, I'm using an Xbox controller anyway. <laughs> like, it's just, it just feels more home to me. Like, I don't know why. Okay. Now we can repair the pulse engine. Okay. Bam. Bam. Yes. Okay, now we gotta fix our launch thruster. So we're gonna need a um, refiner. So we need to make some pure ferrite. Also, dihydrogen jelly, which I picked up some dihydrogen just for this this purpose. So let's uh, let's go in and try and make some dihydrogen jelly. So there, but we still need refined ferrite. I think I can actually make more. No, I need some. I still need more dihydrogen, man. All right, and we need some Starship launch fuel as well. Um, let's see, which we still need a lot more dihydrogen for that. So okay, that's the next thing. All right, and we gotta make a refinery. Refinery. All right, let's see, uh, 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 utilities. No. All right, so I gotta make fairy dust first. <clears throat> okay, and there's hydro or hyd the hydrogen stuff. Excuse me, sir. And or madam. Um, all right, so here we go. Get some of this, get some of this stuff. Get this stuff, just get it all. We need all of it, really, really, we're gonna need a lot of it. So, this is why I wanted to grab it in the first place. <laughs> it's incredibly important, because or else we ain't get off this rock. <laughs> Had to bring that back around. <clears throat> All right, got some of that. This looks like there's some more over here. No, nope. ow. Okay, that hurt a lot. Um, our uh, our jetpack's not so great. <clears throat>
All right, so we got that. Now we got to get our ferrite dust. Whoops, wrong button. To get from these. I just want to make sure I have enough to refine too. Well, let's get back up to the ship and we'll make our make our refiner. I really hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I do. Because I would like to play quite a few videos on this. I would love that. You know, if people are down to watch me sit and I mean and craft and explore the explore the uh depths of space you know and find aliens and life forms and all this stuff then cool <laughs> i'm down all right oh i have to gather oxygen as well oops okay all right i got some oxygen rich plants here this is what we want That's for life support as well, which I kind of need. Excuse me, but uh, whoa, whoa, that was a different ship than I saw earlier too. Okay, some of this, some of that. Because I need more. I have enough to make the refiner, but I need more to survive. Nice. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Oh, there's even more over here, too. Now the best thing to do, at least what I like to do, is go in the ship to, to craft stuff usually. Uh, except for in this scenario, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to make the refiner out here, but. There. But I am gonna go back in the ship to, instead of using, you know, unnecessarily using, you know, different materials that we have, I'd rather just go in here and fill up. But I am going to replenish my health because that does not fill back up. So. Cool. Now. We can use the refiner. A fuel inverter. Oh, we need carbon. Okay. Or condensed carbon. We got some of that. All right, and we need, we need pure ferrite. We need ferrite dust. Bam. Begin. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to go back to our ship and watch and wait. And that should turn green once it's done. Oh, it's done. <laughs> that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll put it on my, our, oh, we can put it right on our starship too, but it's fine. Put it on my exosuit. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> and now, we should be able to repair all of our launch thrusters at this point. Yes. Now we can pick up our refiner. Bam. Now, before I leave, before we take off, let's just make sure we have all the things we need. For one, Nice. Okay, cool. We did. We were able to do that. Uh, we got enough for launch thr thrusters right now. We're at half. I think it's I think at least it was a quarter, a quarter of launch launch thruster fuel every single time that you launched. 
So we got halfway, so we can launch twice at this point. I think we're good. You guys ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh. Now let's seek the answers among the stars. Where are we going? I was hoping to kind of see the planet because I wanted to, I wanted to be able to view it as I was coming up, but Oh there there it is. Okay. We're going up. Oops, I have a photon cannon. And we are breaking through. And we're into the stars. <laughs> oh my god. That feels so good. I just got chills. That was awesome. Alright, test flight controls. Got our thrust. Okay, we're getting boost with a B. Whoa. All right, and we can test our pulse engine. There we go. This is how you travel fast. Now we're going to scan. Oh, another noxious planet. Great. Someone's trying to communicate with us. 4925B. Please identify yourself. I'm. Hmm. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna identify myself. We're gonna be friendly. You are not alone. Follow the <laughs> the broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Okay. Nice. Okay, so now we got coordinates to a new planet. Or coordinates to a signal, rather. I don't know if it's a new planet. Don't tell me you guys just gave me coordinates to exactly where I was. No. It's over here. Wow, look at all the planets. Also, just in case, when you're in space, and you need to get some... Get some power for thrusters and things like that, this is how you do it. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I gotta invert flight controls because this is bugging me out. Oh, nice. It is all at Ultra. I wasn't sure. It didn't give me, like, an option at the beginning. All right, uh, controls. Flight controls tethered normal. Tethered inverted. I'm gonna go tethered inverted. Oh, that's how it's tethered. Okay. There we go. All right. For some reason, I just like inverted flight controls is the way to go for me. All right. No, I don't think I'm better than anybody because I use inverted controls. <laughs> At all. In fact, I consider myself weird for that. But it's like all the games growing up, man, when you play on the computer, like back in like 95, 96, all that kind of stuff. All the flight controls of games were inverted. At least I don't know if there was an option to change them up. But I, when I was at, when I was that age, I didn't know that or how to do that. So I just learned how to do inverted. <laughs> All right, we're coming in, coming in hot. Um, oh, so if you see the arrive time, that's in real time. So that's in six minutes, and six minutes real time is when we'll achieve that. And we don't, we don't need that. Uh, there we go. I don't want to like hyper hyper jump into it and bash into the side of the planet. Of course, it's another noxious planet, though. That figures. Have you noticed no load times? Isn't that amazing? Man, I don't know many games that do that. I think it's pretty awesome. 
to seamlessly go from an entire planet to another entire planet. And I could have gone to any of those planets at that with no load times. What is that awful noise? Why is the time not going down? Oh, it's on the other end of this. Uh, so cool to see all of the shooting stars. Oh my god. That just kind of popped in out of where It's a little bit further away than I thought But if I hit warp drive now it's gonna I'm gonna entirely overshoot it All right, we're coming in. All right, slow down, slow down. Hold on. Looks like it was like under there. All right, let's hover for a second. Let's get a good look. All right. Okay. Now, now it now it triggered. There we go. Now we're gonna land. Oof. Nice. Negative sixty-one Celsius external temperature. That seems bad. But I'm also American and don't understand Celsius. But it seems really cold. All right. Um, activate target sweep from the analysis visor. Target sweep. All right, so now we got thermal protection to try to protect us from this. So let's grab the sodium while we're at it. Because that we definitely need. We're yet again at another hostile, well, hostile environment planet. stay away from those the the dick plant okay i'm gonna stay away from that um uh what is that oh they're eyeballs Again, stay away from that. Oh boy. You said this was the right area. <laughs> or back there where my ship was, was the right. Those look terrifying. All right, I keep saying this way, so. 
Let me keep going, I guess. That is a long drop. This seems to be the area down here. All right, let's see if we can kinda, 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 oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that, like a professional, okay? Oh, it looks like some of the stuff's been already taken. <clears throat> Sparking wires of the machine generate a signal. Tapping out is broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decoding 16, 16, 16. No fuel. Failed to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to underground deployed base computer. As well as log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whomever is leaving these messages. Cool. So we're going to learn how to make a base computer. We need some chromatic metal to make that. Uh, we also need carbon nanotubes and dihydrogen jelly to make a terrain manipulator. Cool. Which luckily, there seems to be some dihydrogen around. Uh, and whatever the hell that is. But suddenly we're playing dead space over here. Stabilizing. Oh, because it's coming dick. Get the hell out of here. Luckily, we've been running into friendly things, but I mean, it seems to be so far, but I'm not going to get in the way of it. All right, cool. Oh, here, oh, here's some more over here. Let's check our inventories here. Let's see what we can do. We can build. We can build anything yet. Um, we need. We need the train manipulator. Okay, carbon nanotubes and hyd dihydrogen jelly. So let's see. Um, carbon nan nanotubes and hydrogen jelly. Wait, does it need two? Oh, it needs two nanotubes. Uh, craft more. There we go. Nice. There we go. Now we have to gather copper. Now we gotta find copper, for that matter. All right, copper deposit over there, sodium. What else we got? Damn it. Can't look at it. Doesn't even say what that is. Um. Oh, that's so cool. Can you scan it? A D drain 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 a ruby? I can't even pronounce that. Okay. Alright, so we still need to find Popper. Let's see, there's gotta be something nearby somewhere here. 
Where's our ship at? Because I kind of want to stay around this area because I don't want to have to go super far and then trek 14 miles to get back. Okay, there's a copper deposit over right over there. So we're going to go around this rock base. We're going to go up there. That's the plan. It's not a good plan, but it's a plan. So. I'm going to put my, my mining pit beam out just in case, in case something starts to get fresh with me here. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so fun. It really is. What is what is that? Is that copper? Pyrite. Okay, that's not it. It's a big pyrite deposit, though. Holy crap. All right, we're heading over to the copper. We're pretty close, fairly close. Let's try not to die on the way there. You know, with the LED cactuses. Hell is that about? All right, this is awkward. This, uh, let's try not to die. That's probably not safe. All right, let's go, go, go. I don't think I want to play in the water here. My health was dropping. What the hell was that? A shadow of some flying beast just like went across the ground in front of me, but I don't see it. <laughs> I think it was one of those huge flying whale things. All right. Oh, wow. Look at this. All right. We found it. Let's mine. Man, imagine if this it was this easy. That'd be awesome. We got a huge deposit of copper here. I'm just gonna pick it all up now. Well, oh god, and try not to kill myself while we're at it. As I mine myself into a hole here. <laughs> just mine underneath those guys. Get out of here. Creepy ass shit, man. I don't I don't think those are friendly at all. I could be wrong, but they don't look it. They don't act it. Everything from all my years of video game experiences, things with like floating or with long tentacle eyeball bullshit ain't friendly. This is 47, 2021. Write that down. All right. Okay, analyze the geode. I can analyze, oh, I have a geode? Ooh, let's analyze it. So it gave me more stuff. Okay, cool. Okay, let's de deploy a refiner here. Whoops. All right. Now, copper. There it is. And we need something to fuel it. We're going to put the carbon in. Let's go. Now we're making some chromatic metal. Man, those eyeballs freak me the hell out. Little Nightmares, uh, the second one, actually <laughs> made me realize that about eyeballs. I didn't think I had a problem with eyeballs at all. And then um, at the end, uh, hello. Man, there's a lot of stuff happening. They look like, like flying whales to me. Somebody cue the Gojira music. 
Um, but at the end of Little Nightmares 2, with that whole, those who have played it, the whole, there's like, there's like eyes and, and stuff, and it's like all trying to come down on you and kill you, but it's like a big meat mass with eyeballs in it. It looks like, it basically looks like ground hamburger and organs with, uh, with eyeballs in it that actually are like alive. And I was like, wow, I don't like eyeballs. <laughs> I don't know why it freaks me out now, but that's a thing. Thank you, Little Nightmares 2, for that. All right. That should be done. We got our chromatic metal. My exosuit. Bam. All right. Claims the site for construction. Find a suitable area and deploy the base computer. I'm going to go back to our ship. Before we make the base computer. And we're also going to pick up all the cyatrin too while we're at it. Unfortunately, I used up all my carbon for that, so now I don't have any more mining beam to replenish right the second. All right, let's go back to our ship. We're going to take that. We're going to get... Oh, it's, the ship's right there. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> I didn't know it was that close. And it's surrounded by eyeballs. Why is my life like this? Hey, back up. Get out of here. Maybe they are friendly. Well, like, maybe not friendly, but they seem to try to run away from me, so. Cool. Well, my friends, I think I'm gonna leave this here for now. This video's gone, gone quite a bit. Wow, look at that. Tell me this game isn't cool as shit. Man, if you love, if you love space, if you love Minecraft, if you love survival crafting games, this is it, man. This is it. Say goodbye to your life. You can absolutely delve yourself into this game and be lost in it. Because the amount of planets and unknown aliens and space stations you find, you even get massive, massive ships, like fleets of ships. It's very cool. Um, which I happen to be lucky enough, my first playthrough a long while ago, like a year ago, now, um, I had one of those ships. I actually stumbled upon one that was entirely evacuated, which is pretty cool. So I took control of it. Um, but yeah, dude, it's it's awesome. If you haven't played No Man's Sky or if you're like, ah, I don't know, it got kind of a rough launch. Do I really want to play it. Now's the time. Everything has been updated. Everything is being awesome now. So anyway, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. It's very important to me. It lets me know that you guys enjoy what I do and that you like the games that I'm playing, you know, it helps me know what you guys enjoy and I, I should be playing more of. And if you do like me, please subscribe. It's very much appreciated and I hope you guys join me on my adventure through all these amazing games. I'm Mr. 47. You guys have been amazing. Until next time.